everyone, and welcome back to the channel, where your likes, comments, and subs are always greatly appreciated. Recently, I received a comment about the Zoom R20 multi-track recorder in one of my other videos. Somebody had posted a comment that had said that they were getting this error message that I had never seen before. It simply said, cannot turn on the track, turn off the pair of track. Admittedly, that's maybe not the best English description of what's going on, but I was able to figure out what was happening, and I thought I would share that information with all of you so you could see how that error message pops up if you've been seeing it and what you could do to remedy it. One of the limitations with the R20 is that you do not have manual control over track routing. The track routing is dictated based off of what the channel input is, and that will tell you what tracks you can use. There are eight inputs, but the inputs are stuck on a certain channel of tracks. So input one can only record to track one or track nine. Input two can only record to track two and track 10 and so on. If you want to record eight things simultaneously, you can using all eight inputs, but you also have to pay attention to what bank of tracks or bus of tracks that you are using. If you want to change the banks of tracks that you can use, you need to use this one icon that is up here at the top of the project settings screen. So it lists it as one to eight, which will give you one to eight up here for your bank of tracks that you have accessible to you, or nine to 16, you have to hit that button, which now highlights nine to 16 and the red light shows up down here. If we go back to one to eight and we want to record on track one. So I arm track one, cause that's ready to go. Let's say that I had something plugged into input one and I wanna record onto track one, but I also wanna record some other things. And if I move over to my bank of tracks that are now nine to 16 and I think, oh, I'm gonna record on track nine as well. Well, you can't do it. If I hit that record button, you'll get the error message where it says, cannot turn on the track, turn off the pair of track. And that's what that means. So we close that here because you can't use both track one and track nine at the same time. It's part of that overlapping bus from input number one. Now you can mix and match tracks that you want to use across the two banks while recording up to eight devices or eight instruments simultaneously, but you still cannot have that overlap ever occur between the top bank of tracks and the lower bank of tracks. As an example, if I want to record on tracks one, two, three, and four, I can do that by arming those tracks. Let's say I have uh, instruments plugged into inputs one through four. And then if I also want to record on these open tracks, I could still do that on the other bank. So if I select my bank one uh, through eight and I switch it up to nine to 16 now, remember I was using these four tracks so I can start on track five if I had an instrument plugged in here and I can still record, which would be track five to 13. So now I'm over here on that second bank. This would be track 13, track 14, track 15 and track 16. So I can record on these four tracks from the lower bank while simultaneously recording on these four tracks from the upper bank. But if I want to now also record on track five because I forgot that I lit up track 13, I'll generate the error message. So that's just something that you need to consider when you are trying to record multiple instruments at the same time and you wanna take advantage of up to eight tracks, you just have to consider what bank of tracks that you're using and make sure that you're not overlapping and putting two re armed tracks, recording arm tracks within that same downward channel from the input. That's the limitation that you have with the R20 when you don't have full manual control over track routing because you can never route say input eight over to track four or track 12. That's just not a possibility. You can only use input four to route to track four or track 12. And that's how it works for all of the inputs with all of the tracks. All right, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you found the content helpful and I'll see you again next time. All right, goodbye.